Warning, Rec Room constantly changes things, so buttons and menus may have changed. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to the new Maker Pen menu in Rec Room. To start out, when you grab your Maker Pen, you are brought to the Tools menu. Now, I know this can look intimidating, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll know what most of these buttons do and how you can start using them to make stuff. Let's start off easy with the five buttons on the bottom row. These are the five pages that the new Maker Pen has. Starting on the left, we have the configure page where you can change the settings of whatever item is currently selected. Then we have the palette where you can make shapes, inventions, circuits, and gadgets. Then we have tools where you can edit and change Maker Pen objects. Then we have logging, which gives you more information about circuits. Lastly, we have this room, which allows you to adjust room settings. One of the newest features of this Maker Pen is called tear off mode. What you're gonna do is click this little arrow below the current page you have selected and it will open up the page separate from the maker pen. So you can have multiple pages open at the same time and move them around depending on what you need and what you're working on. When you wanna move these pages, just click the top little bar and you can move it around. If you wanna make these pages bigger or smaller, click on the two arrows on the top right hand corner. By default, these pages will follow you, but if you want to keep them pinned in their exact spot, you're gonna click the little push pin icon up here. If you want your pinned page to always be facing you, you're just gonna select this rotate lock button. And of course, if you wanna bring it all back to your maker pin, just hit the X button on the top left hand side. For now, we're just gonna keep one page open to keep it simple. Now that we've broadly covered all these pages, we're gonna go a bit more in depth. But I would like to say, we're not gonna cover every single setting in the configure page or the right side of the tool page. There's just so many that it would be a bit excessive to cover everything. If you have a specific question, look down in the comments, see if somebody's already asked it. If they haven't, put it in there and I'll try and answer it for you. So as I said, we're gonna skip the configure page. Let's start with the palette page. First off, we have shapes. This will show you all of the base shapes that Rec Room has and that you can make. Next up, we have swatches. The right side here is gonna allow you to change the color and the material of whatever Maker Pen object that you're working with. You can also adjust the size of the texture on the Maker Pen object. On the left side, you have your pool of custom swatches that you've made. So for example, if we wanna make a red, wood material. Let's adjust the size a little bit. When we're happy with what we have, we can hit save swatch, which will overwrite this swatch that we currently have selected, or we can make a new swatch by clicking save as new swatch. Now let's move to props. This is where you can get all of the pre-made objects that Rec Room provides us. So cars, furniture, sports balls, weapons, all that stuff can be selected here. You can scroll down to go through all the different categories, or in my opinion, an easier way, is to just hit view more next to all, and you can see all the categories up here or you could search for what you want. Next, let's go to inventions. First up, we have inventions that are currently in the store. If you hit view more, it will open your watch and take you to the store. Next, we have all. So this is every invention that you own published or not. Then we have mine, which are all of the inventions that you have made. Then we have published, which are all of the inventions you have made that are published. We have downloaded, which is everything you've downloaded from the store and certified, which I'll be honest, I didn't know existed. <laughs> and just like last time, if you hit view more next to all, then you can see all these categories and search as well. Next up, we have circuits V2. Here you can see all the different categories. We've got all of the circuits here. We've got CV2 gadgets. And just like last time, hit view more and you'll see all of the categories. CV1 works pretty much the exact same way. All right, it's time for the big one. Let's go to tools. Now to start looking at the tool page, let's actually make a small cube. So I'm gonna hit create. I'm gonna go to palette. I'm gonna go to shapes. I'm gonna hit cube. Let's just make a little cube right here. Once you're done creating what you wanna create, just hit done. So let's say you wanna edit this cube. What you're gonna do is hit edit, then using your maker pen, select the item that you wanna edit. Then once we modify it, however we wanna modify it, we can hit done again. And of course, if you make a mistake, you wanna undo it, hit the undo button. And if you wanna redo what you just did, just hit redo. Now we move to select, which will let you select multiple objects. Then we have wire, which allows you to wire up circuits in Rec Room. Then we have configure, which will jump to the configure page of whatever item you have selected. Now we're gonna talk about these four buttons here, starting with move. So if you have move, whatever item you select, 
you can move it up, down, left, right, based on the X, Y, and Z axis. Next up, we have rotate, where you can rotate the object about the X, Y, and Z axis. Quick note on the settings here, you can rotate the object around the pivot point, which is the symbol you see here in the middle, or you can rotate it around the actual center of the object that you made. Next up, we have scaling, which will let you scale the object in the X, Y, or Z axis. Also, if you click this center cube here, you can scale it all uniformly. I think that's the right word. Lastly, we wanna look at transform. The transform option basically allows you to do all three of these things just in one tool. So you can rotate here, you can go up and down, you can scale it, you can move it across a plane. You can do all sorts of different things with this. I do wanna talk here about world space. Right now I have world space selected, which means when I move this object, I'm moving it based on the X, Y, and Z axis of the actual room that we're in. If I uncheck world space, then it will move based on the X, Y, and Z axis of the actual object. Now let's move to clone and flip. So clone and flip will allow you to clone whatever object you have selected, and you can clone it again around these three axes. If you click this little arrow, it will just clone it that way. Or if you click the outer symbol, it will not only clone it, but mirror it, like flip it back. Next up, we have recolor. So if we wanna change the color or the material of this object, we can do it this way. You can also, with recolor selected, you can also go to your palette and swatches and you can switch it by selecting a color there. Next up we have freeze, which will freeze the selected object so you can't edit it and nobody else can mess with it. Next up we have make an invention. This works pretty much the same way as inventions used to work. We have manipulate that will allow you to manipulate the object that you currently have selected. You can kind of expand and contract the different sides of it. And lastly, we have delete. Now we've got two more things to cover, snapping. So if we go up here to snapping, it's current, it's been off this entire time. If we go to surface and then we try to create a shape, let's make another cube. The cube will be made at whatever surface that you're pointing at. So if I create here, it'll create it on the wall. If I point it at the floor, it'll create it on the floor, whatever surface that it touches first. If we do grid snapping, there's an invisible grid around us. You can kind of see the cube following the grid now. And if I create, it'll create based on that grid. And if you drill down into the menu here, you can edit that grid. You can make it a bigger grid or a smaller grid. If I do a 100, if I do a one, it's a huge cube. If I do, a, uh, let's see, let's go real tiny, a 0.5, it's a tiny cube. It's how you change the size of the cubes. You can also do rotation snap. So if I wanna rotate this object, right now it's at one degree. So every time I'm rotating, it's only rotating by one degrees. But let's say we do 90, it'll, it'll only rotate by 90 degrees. Woo, that was a lot. How about you rest your brain a little bit and check out this video where I have viewers rate my jokes. Have a good day. You know, sometimes I really hate you.